three people on. So today's devotional is this. Now bear with me as I struggle through it. This is a time in your life when you must learn to let go of loved ones, of possessions, of control. In order to let go of something that is precious to you, you need to rest in my presence where you are complete. Take time to bask in the light of my love. As you relax more and more, your grasping hand gradually opens up, releasing your prized possessions into my care. This is where it hits me. You can feel secure even in the midst of cataclysmic changes through awareness of my continual presence. The one who never leaves you is the same one who never changes. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. As you release more and more things into my care, remember that I never let go of your hand. Herein lies your security, which no one in no circumstances can take from you. And that's Psalms 89, 15, and then Hebrews 13, 8, and Isaiah 4, 41, 13. Am I Jesus calling devotional books? So anyhow, this is where, this is why I want to talk to you about it. This is why I want to bring it up. I'm going to turn off my light and we're going to go outside, get in the car and head to the store. And we're going to have this little talk. Because this, it, so last night, like we get home, we got home at 2 in the morning on Tuesday. So yesterday was Tuesday. So last night is Tuesday night, right? So, I mean, I'm still a little wore out, still pretty tired, but, um, I just, I don't know, coming home just doesn't feel right. Being, being home right now doesn't feel right. And that may sound weird, but it's the truth. I just, I feel like I just walked away, just gave up some of the best opportunities in my life. Some of the best things that could come to me. Some of the best blessings. I feel like I just walked away. I'll make sure that radio's off. <laughs> and <clears throat> last night, like this, this hit me right. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, I just started praying. I said, Lord, I just want to surrender everything to you. My finances, my job, my career, my family, my boys, my life, show me the way. And so waking up this morning to reading that as my devotional is kind of like, whoa, hey, here you go, bud. Learn to let go. Learn to let go. And I'm going to tell you right now, the, the thing that has kept me here in Kansas, it, you, you guys might think it might be cars, but honestly, it's not, it's not cars. It's not, it's not the, it's not the community. It's not, it's not just for me, it's not for because of the boys it, it's honestly it's because of my family which i mean my boys are my family but when you go through a divorce and you have children you have child custody problems and that takes a big toll on moving anywhere but especially moving out of state and recently i haven't been a as afraid to move out of state or move anywhere because of the boys. Because here's the thing, moving, no matter what, no matter what, no matter what the circumstances are with the, the family or the person with the kids, moving doesn't boil down to that single person. It boils down to the kids you always got to think about the kids first in this kind of circumstance here and more and more I'm like you know what my boys would they would do so much better they would flourish more they would they'd have more opportunities and I just I kind of beat myself up for it because I feel I feel guilty for holding them back for staying here and like well you know your mom lives 
north of us and you get to see her on the every other weekend kind of thing and moving there i don't know what would happen but it, obviously we would end up in court again and i'm like you know what maybe it's worth it maybe it's worth it and this this right here is the time to learn to let go the time to learn to let go i let go of my corvette I, I said I would never take a million dollars for that, but I'll tell you right now, it took $4,500 for that car. Because it felt right. Hang on, gotta make sure my phone, okay. My phone was blowing up for a second. <laughs> and so it's it's insane what, what the possibilities are when you put your faith in the Lord's hands. Because in my hands, I'm telling you right now, it's not gonna be, it, it won't be good. It's not gonna be perfect. It, something's gonna happen I can't I can't control it God's got it planned out so I give it to him and place it in his hands because in his hands his will will be done through me he, he will shine and that is what I feel like I just left behind leaving Florida it sucks it really it sucks I don't I don't know why. I really don't want to talk about the trip because there was there was some drama and it 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 just it sucked, but I don't want to focus on that. I don't even want to really dig into it more than that. So, just leave it at that. Know that we had a great time. But I I honestly I feel like I just walked away from something something great. So, I uh, I'm actually going to be making a phone call uh, later this week, maybe even later today, and maybe those opportunities are still there, still available, but man, my gut, my heart just, I don't know. I've always wanted to stay in Kansas because, for one, here in Hutchinson, my entire family lives here, like, I, not my entire family, but the majority of my family lives here in Hutchinson, and you know, I get to drive down the road, and then sometimes I see him honk and wave and smile, and you know, it just uplifts my day. And then there's family that, I mean, I see once a week or once a month or every other day or something. And and this, this whole devotional has hit home today because of last night praying to surrender. And then reading that this morning to learn to let go of not just possessions, but of people, of people. If that includes family, that includes friends, that includes the entire car community here in Hutch. Now that doesn't mean letting go of you guys, because you're still right here with me. You are. I might, I might not be in Kansas if I did move to Florida, but I'm here to tell you that I'm still gonna be me, and I'm still gonna come up here sometimes. And when I do, speaking if I move, like, you know darn well I'm gonna be like all right where's that event <laughs> where's that meet <laughs> but I got there there's a lot weighing on me with with last night happening of, of just praying to surrender and then this morning waking up and reading that in my devotional learning to let go and so I just put my hands together send another prayer bow my head talk to the Lord because he's our savior he's going to show me the way and he's going to take care of us so I'm, I'm going to know one way or another if a move to Florida is is the right thing is something if it if it continues to feel better than what this other thing I have right now that I'm, is kind of also on my plate because I'm telling you right now, I don't feel too good about this other thing, but I, I feel really good about Florida. And I, I know, I know. When you go on vacation, you don't have stress, but, and that, that makes everything seem so much better. But I'm telling you, I, I literally, every single day, I see how my buddy Cameron lives his life down in Florida. And I'm like, bro, <laughs> Kansas, man. <laughs> So I don't know, we'll, we'll just see what happens, but I hope that maybe 
maybe this message, maybe me talking with you guys, maybe me getting this out, will somehow help me realize some things or help you even realize some things in your own life. I hope that it does and I hope that with me bringing out more of my my belief in God and showing you guys that that maybe maybe there's some chance that you'll also show me yours or begin to to find yours to follow him to find him maybe I'll bring you to him I, I don't know guys Jesus is amazing God's amazing and I thank both of them every single day for blessing me with today so that's a good a good start for you just wake up and dear lord thank you for this beautiful day no matter what what the weather is like every day that's why i say thank you for this beautiful day thank you for blessing me and my boys with another day in jesus name we pray amen and that that right there is what we do every single morning so with that being said god bless y'all i love y'all and we will catch you guys in another video Oh yeah, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. Drop those comments down below. You know what to do. Click that red subscribe button. Get you some merch. Check out that description below. <laughs>